think for as long as I can remember. I think it's, uh, you know, I started playing when I was eight years old uh, for Western Suburbs Cricket Club down in Wollongong. And, and um, you know, from that point on, I, I just, I've always wanted to be a cricketer. And, um, you know, careers advisors at school have always said, what do you want to do with your life? And I've always said, I want to play cricket. And, um, you know, obviously there's other things outside of cricket afterwards, um, you know, that, that we'll pursue later on. But um, I've always had that desire to play for Australia. And, and, um, and I hope to make that make that goal one day. Well, that's well played too. There's hundreds here at the SCG. Phil Jakes is known by his teammates as the pro. If you want a snapshot of a committed and driven modern day cricketer, look no further than the lefty from Wollongong. Good stroke. Phil Jakes is in touch at the moment. Yeah, the New South Wales boys uh, dubbed me the pro, I guess, after I came back from um, from England, uh, sort of playing on a, on a British passport. So they, they called me the county pro. Um, I think it has a little bit to do with the, the professional sort of attitude, I guess, and, and the approach that I have as well. I sort of have more throwdowns than anyone else uh, in the squad. Um, I just really like to hit cricket balls and, and like, to, uh, like to, yeah, to, to just do a lot of volume with my work. Phil's reward is a mountain of runs and a growing reputation for converting starts into big scores. 16 first-class centuries, including five double tons, more than 1,200 runs last summer alone. The first man since Bob Simpson to score two double centuries in a season. I just love, love batting um, and just love scoring runs. There's no, no better feeling in the world than scoring runs. And the more runs you make, the, the better it feels. He grew up idolising Steve Waugh, a man who'd one day be a Blues teammate. Phil's old enough to have learned from the war years, but young enough to fill the void once they were gone. I just loved the, the fight that he had um, and the shots that he had. He was just uh, a really great player. Um, and to actually get to play with him was, was something that was really special for me. I think he's just about ready, particularly one-day cricket. He uh, reminds me a lot of Adam Gilchrist. I think he can take the game away from the opposition. Um, test matches, obviously, it's harder to get in, but I think there's no reason why he can't play test match cricket. He's got uh, the technique, he scores quickly, and uh, he adds a lot to the team. Well, that's well played. He's flicked that one beautifully. Overlooked at state under-19 level, Phil spent seven straight summers proving selectors got it wrong. At 26, he's now squarely in the sights of the national panel. He toured Pakistan with Australia A in October and was a candidate to replace Justin Langer before the first test. You know, I've only played a couple of years of first class cricket over here, uh, a couple of full years anyway. Um, so, uh, you know, to be mentioned in, you know, in those sort of lights um, was, you know, a, uh, a big honour for me, I guess. And it was quite weird seeing, seeing my name, I guess, in, you know, in, that, in that sort of company, but it was, um, it was really nice. A baggy green is now within reach, but Phil almost wore the cap of the old enemy. His heritage is English, and he faced a career-defining choice. Australia is my home, and um, always has been. And um, I, I was born in Australia, so uh, obviously, you know, Australia was was where I wanted to play and who I wanted to play for. And it was just a matter of, um, yeah, doing the hard work. Phil's cricket forced a move from Wollongong to Cronulla five years ago but he's still just a straight drive from the beach. I mean, I've always lived near the beach, always lived within about five, five minutes of the beach, apart from in England, obviously, and, um, you yeah, know, I love it down here, the, you know, the sun and the sand and the water, it's just, uh, it's really peaceful and it helps me relax, it's really good. In the innings of life, his greatest partnership is with fiance and Australian soccer player, Danielle Small. You always go through tough times as a sportsman and, and it's good to have someone that's been there and, and done that and you know in their sport and and obviously been through similar things you can talk to talk to each other and and uh, obviously if you need a running partner it's always good as well um, you know she runs rings around me as far as the fitness goes she's so fit there's a sense of inevitability about the phil jake story the only thing missing is the phone call it's that out of the it's six it's six what a way to go 32 off the over, and Paul Jakes has got himself 150. You know, I've played, played a few years of first class cricket now, and I've done well, and um, I, I feel like I'm ready for the new challenge of, of going up a level, and um, I'd really like, uh, you know, like the opportunity of, to, to play for.